One, two, skip a few. 99. One hundred. <laughs> Ta-da! You've given me presents over one hundred times. Congratulations. Therefore, I'll give you a present to commemorate this occasion. That item isn't really useful, so if you don't need it, feel free to get rid of it. Toodaloo! Alright, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Harvest Moon DS Cute. We spam the dog in the witch princess's face approximately 100 times or around what 89 times technically okay doke not that requirement not really a requirement but it's on the way to like the 10,000 gift requirement plus uh oh god I'm gonna lose my dog here. let me get let me bring my dog home I don't want him to get lost in this world. <laughs> so yeah. We got that requirement done. You guys can hang out here. And what the heck am I gonna do today? I think I'm just gonna keep passing out. Honestly, is my sheep- my sheep- wow. I can actually shear it. <laughs> eh. But then I'd have to unequip unequip my uh, sickle and I don't want to do that. Alright, well, let's just keep passing out for now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real boring. <laughs> real boring episode. Uh, depending on how fast we can do this. Although there's a sheep festival, maybe we can uh, attend that. Not participate in it, but at least like we can go. Oh, where is my truth bingle? I like seeing it. I like seeing my stamina just get totally decimated. Yeah, hopefully we get the, um, the pass out 100 times requirement satisfied soon. Then we can, uh... Died. <laughs> Is now a good time? Did my chicken die? <laughs> I had a sick chicken. I'm gonna lose count of how many animals have died because so many are just dying of... Oh! Three has finally passed away of illness. Farm animals die when they're not cared for them a lot, and you must take great care of them. Okay, I didn't know she was sick. I thought you were still hanging on by a thread. New key toke. Are there any buildings I can build? Actually, I think I can. Here's my mushroom shed. I didn't go in last time. Uh, there's a bunch of spots for logs. I think you can't grab a log from the pile, but you can grab a log. From here, and you just place them here, like that. It's kind of convenient to have it next to the lumber shed, and then you can uh, buy some spores. I think Vesta will have some for sale now. Of uh, what was it? Sh oh, Shimeji. Oh, not the Matsutake. You find Matsutakes on the ground, but she has another one. That's for sale as well. Uh, maybe I'll check another day. These are all here. I just need one more batch of eggs to hatch and then I could tell Gots to tumble down a building. Which actually might be sooner rather than later. Let me, let me pass out. <laughs> I was gonna tell Gots to maybe build a maker shed. And I can certainly get some mushroom spores that way to go in the mushroom shed, but... So let's get those eggs out and then we'll, we'll demolish the building and then we'll build the maker shed. That, that's, that seems like a good plan. Alright, time to go home. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Ooh. This isn't the 100 one, but... Ta-da! You fainted over 50 times, Milan. Congratulations! Therefore, I'll give you a present to commemorate this occasion. Thank you. That item isn't really useful, so if you don't need it, feel free to get rid of it. Toodaloo. I will gladly take it for my farm degree. <laughs> hey, and it's raining. This actually makes it a lot faster to pass out. With the cursed jewel. Maximum passing out. 
Alright, so we just need to do this 50 more times. And we'll be good. Although it might be actually a little bit smaller because I, I don't know if uh, the animal dying cutscenes and the birthing cutscenes might delay. Oh, the witch princess giving you that gift. Exhausted time to call it a day. But yeah, practically 50 more times. Yay! A new baby has been born. I, th I think you're 33? <laughs> Really matter because I'm just gonna destroy you all. Take care of it. What's oh, that sound? <laughs> Look at I'm hatching all these baby birds. I could just buy chickens and destroy them that way, but I don't know. It always felt like the cheaper option to hatch them myself, but then again, I'm I'm rich, so. Rug. On a little bit faster pace. Now, did I? I forgot if I actually ordered oven. <laughs> I don't think I did. Or what? What was? What was for sale? I don't think I purchased this. I'm a big old dum dum. Uh, we got the pot this time. Well, maybe we'll buy it today. Simmer things with it. This pot. For a mere thousand gold. Well, now if you want this, TV shopping pays the shipping cost for you. Oh well. No concern. Alright, well, let's. Guys in here, he's chicken still surviving. <laughs> Might as well get some freebie stuff for. God, I'm gonna get rid of this rock. Here, I can, I can make it evaporate. There you go. <laughs> Throw it on another rock. There, done. Get all of you in here. And we'll call Gots and get you guys destroyed. And then, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for us to get some sheep. I'm kind of contemplating actually planting grass for the sheep and cows so they don't die. And I know I, I do need to feed the cows for them to actually grow. But of course winter is coming, so I don't know if I should do that now or later. But yeah, winter. The grass is still there in the winter, but it's just like underneath the snow so your animals can't eat it. But it does slinker around and start growing again in the spring. Don't want to forget that there are birds in here as well that just hatched. So we gotta wait until around 11-ish and then we can call it gods. the Totoro song. Man, that's kind of annoying. I was looking for like a, a Ghibli playlist. And it was like one of those like, oh, like five hours of soothing Ghibli music. And it was just like, it kept looping to like Totoro over and over and over again. I'm like, I'm kind of done with this song. It, like they, they would use like the same three songs every time. Like there's more, there's more Ghibli films than just Totoro. And Howl's Moving Castle, please. Please pick something else. Alrighty. Now 11. I, I kind of want to see Vesta too. It kind of sucks that Vesta's store like opens so... So late. Uh, let's see. Let's call TV Shopping because I keep forgetting to do that. Thanks for calling. The pot is a thousand gold. Yes, please. Thank you, it should arrive in two or three days. Gots construction. See the legendary gots. You want it? We got it. 
All right, I would like to demolish. Start tomorrow. See you then. You want me to tear down that bird shed or animal barn? Let the animals out today. They're in there when the building's demolished, they'll die. <laughs> yeah, exactly as I planned. All right, what the heck am I going to do now? Or... Forsooth. Gotta gather some mushrooms. Any mushrooms here, jeez. <laughs> Just in this area, it's like... like the mushroom area. Yeah, we'll, we'll get nine. Of course... Yep, you have to water the, water the mushroom logs as well, so... Maybe we'll just buy the seeds. And then, uh, just have them until we can finally re-equip our watering can. Let's get at least nine of each. Eight is usually fine, but nine ensures you'll actually, like, get the next level up of mushroom. What we're looking for. Gathering things, even though it would, it would probably be a better use of my time. Let's, let's sit in the hot spring. Let's let's bathe for a little bit. So yeah, it's gonna be a long endeavor too, trying to get a level 100 toadstool. So we did poison the harvest festival last episode with like a regular toadstool, but if you did uh manage to level up a toadstool in, in your mushroom shed to level um, 100. Like, the game credits would roll. You'd essentially just kill everyone in town. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. A little Easter egg. Just game over. Game over everyone. Wouldn't that be an interesting news story? I mean, I wonder who would find out first. Like, I guess not everyone was at the Harvest Festival, so, like, someone would eventually go to the beach. And just find all these bodies on the floor. <laughs> but imagine, like, if the whole town was there and, like, no one knew for, like, the longest time. And just found these, like, decomposing corpses on the beach. Some of them probably, like, washed out on, like, high tide. Never to be seen again. That is beautiful. Alright, actually I'm gonna get out. Get out of the bath. I think Vesta is... Not yet. <laughs> Four thirty. Oh, and want to buy something? All right, you have a lot of stuff. Okay, shiitake. Shiitake seeds. They're expensive, but I'm not gonna afford it. I'll get nine. Thank you. I'll put it in your toolbox. Grape, apple, banana. I probably should be growing more trees because one storm could like potentially wipe out a tree. Um, I'll buy some of these as well since I'm here. Some eggplants. I might try leveling up like a crop of each season. Um, probably yams for fall though, just because they grow so fast and they're regrowable. So they would be more profitable. Nine spinach. I'll keep keep the seeds. I should have ordered some strawberries, but I didn't. We got lots of seeds. Yeah, we have summer and fall seeds, but no no strawberries. That's fine. We'll get to we'll get to spring again before we know it. Sin out so quick. Okay, so after I destroyed these birds, we would have had like what? Good time. Oh, did, did, oh, did the sick chicken croak? I think 40 animals would have died by then. 22 passed away of illness. All right, you, you, it was sick for a while. Farm animals die when they're not cared for in Milan. You must take great care of them. That dot. Okay, I'm, I understand. I'm sorry. Time to kill the rest of them. <laughs> no remorse. Hey, you wanted something demolished, right? I'm here to start the job. Which building do you want me to demolish? The one at the very end. That one. Yes. Okay, I'll get started. It'll just take me a day to tear it down. All the 
visitors. Alright, I think you're tearing it down, I hope. Yeah, I can't enter it, so... Now, are all my birds considered dead? Because they're not on my list anymore, so can I hatch new ones? Or do I have to wait? No, oh, Coop's technically still full. Alright, well... I say it again. I don't think there's any events. It just feels weird just like passing out so quickly. <laughs> just blasting through fall. Well, I hope you guys are alright. Um, I slept so much yesterday. I did the same thing I did the day before where like I got home from work. I was just like so sleepy. I was trying to work on some stuff, but I just like I couldn't. So I just like slept until 1 a.m. And then I woke up because my cat was getting all restless. And I think I watched some anime. I was really in the mood for some boys' love, so I was re-watching Love Stage. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I just like boys' love anime. I mean, some of, the, some of it's in poor taste, but uh, that one's pretty good. Now a good time. Now as a good time as any. Then I watched like a few episodes of that and went right back to sleep and I woke up at like 6 a.m. Oh, look at all those numbies. Bye. Passed away from an accident. Oh, yes, sure, an accident. Shed collapsed and it crushed the poor thing. <laughs> Next time you should make the shed stronger. You don't want something like this to happen again, do you? Ah, uh, yeah, total freak accident. Totally not intentional, no siree. Hi! Hey Milan, the pot that you ordered has arrived. Without a pot, we wouldn't be able to boil any water. Well, this will come in handy. You got it, right? I do. I certainly did. Anyway, but that's kind of not important. Well, it's there. We can cook with it. Make pasta or something. <laughs> More importantly, God's finished destroying it. Yay, see you later. Since we got the pots so late, it might actually take us a while before we actually get another thing for sale. It's an item used by Harvest Sprite. Time for Harvest Sprite Outlet. Today I introduce you a kitchen <laughs> kitchen knife. <laughs> it's good at slicing. It is handy. The chopper steel sword take two. The unique manufacturing process of this product makes it possible to slice through even steel and stone. But it's so sharp it'll cut through your cutting board, so it's useless for food prep. If you buy now, we'll have your name engraved on the knife by a professional. A product like this is only 328,000 Korobos. We only accept Korobos for this product, so those of you who use a different currency can't buy it. Sorry! See you next time on Harvest Shopping Network 2. Don't miss it. Like how it's labeled as a kitchen knife, but even said that you can't cook with it. So it's really just a weapon. Alright, well, now that got's finished demolishing that, we can order another building, so I will make my maker shed. And I'm not sure when I can... Ugh. <laughs> when I can actually... My brain's melting. When I can actually order another kitchen appliance. I'm guessing it's Tuesday now. Tuesday is the day. Alright, we'll have more chickens in the meantime as well. Time we can only do three at a time. We'll we'll get like twelve birds and then they'll go say la vie. All right, we got some time to burn. Let's I don't know, do something. <laughs> I guess we'll I guess we'll do the hot spring. Might as well. Little itty bits. Little itty bits. Steps to two hundred. But yeah, I slept so long today. I still feel sleepy. <laughs> but you know how you, if you like lay down for too long, you start getting sore. That's how bed sores happen. You gotta kind of move around to get the blood pumping. Thinking of blood pumping, I kind of need to get more exercise. I feel like work isn't like making me fall apart. I feel like I'm like every day, I, like I get more bruised and battered than the next. But I feel like I, I do need to work out more because like. I feel like if I was just like a little bit stronger, then I might be able to handle like every day just, just a little bit more. 
<laughs> I wish I had a heated pool. It's like my favorite way to exercise is swimming. But I can only do it during certain times of the year. It was nice when I had like access to like a college pool. And man, that water was really nice. <laughs> that was some nice water. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm so used to... I mean, when I was younger, uh, my cousin... My cousin had a pool. And we were still on good terms with like that side of the family, so like me and my brother would hang out like with our cousins. Like that's how I learned how to swim. And then later on, my parents got a house with a pool in the backyard, and I swam so much in high school. <laughs> like from that point on, but yeah, I can never really do public pools. They're they're so gross. I remember going to like the YMCA. I'm just like. I can't see the bottom of the pool, it's so foggy, and like, I go in and I'm like, my eyes hurt. <laughs> it just felt really gross to be swimming in there. But man, I remember like, going to like a college, like, one of their Olympic-sized pool, and I was like, I was so amazed, like, this is a public pool, but the water is so clean looking. <laughs> and it was like, heated as well. I mean, it wasn't like too warm, but like it was tolerable to swim even during the winter because I like they probably had to because like they had sports teams that needed to practice in there during certain times. Yeah, it was really nice. I had to go there whenever I could. But I don't really have access to that anymore, so. Rip. Alright, GOTS Construction. This year is a legendary GOTS Construction. Do we want it? You got it. I will make a maker shed. Yeah. The material you use, material stone, I have no choice. <laughs> yeah, it might end up tearing it down. It's not that bad trying to get all your adamantite again and just rebuilding all your makers. It's just it's just a lot of steps. And it should It shouldn't collapse on you just willy-nilly. It's a very small percent chance that like a stone building will collapse in a storm. I want you to provide them. Cost 103,000 gold. Tomorrow, see you then. See you later. Alright, alligator. Okay, time to pass out. Hey, I'm gonna get destroyed by my bicycle. Run away, Kuro! Alright, back to this. Back to our usual show. I'm passing out. Dog, oh, hi. Go away. I'm gonna probably need you at the end of the episode. We're gonna go back to the witch and get the thousand gift uh, present from her. And goodbye, cruel world. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Okey doke. Hey, you're building a maker shed, right? I'm here to make it. Where do you want it made? Next to the mushroom shed. I just kind of li like how this looks as well. You're probably gonna use your maker shed a lot as well. I'll, I'll put it next to the mushroom shed. Clear the space first. Is that okay? Yes, please. Okay, I'll get started. Probably take around three days for me to finish it. You can rely on me. Yeah, and I think like any any like blank spaces, I would probably put grass, just so, like, the weeds would stop growing. <laughs> Although the weeds are kind of nice, because, um, you can toss them around your farm and get witch princess gifts. You can also probably get rid of them this way. My tool! Okay, it's not too impressive. It's a lot more impressive with the mythic level <laughs> sickle. Um, let me just double check. Uh, this Friday. That introduces items used by the harvest sprites. Alright, that's not the right one. Harvest sprite outlet. We'll check on Tuesday. I mean, it's not, not that long to get to Tuesday. <laughs> if we're being honest here. Goodbye, cruel world. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Saturday. And it's also raining, so I can pass out faster. Bye, cool world. 
<laughs> Tiger Crow is like, stop it, dang it. You know what's kind of funny? Is, um, what was that? <laughs> that was, um... What number are you? I don't know, 37. You're, you're now number 37. Um, I was looking into, like, the the heart events for the boy version of the game, so for all the bachelor hits. There's actually a there's actually a requirement for you to pass out for, for one of those cutscenes. Ellie actually requires that you pass out 50 times. I'm like, are you in cahoots? Are you in cahoots with the witch princess? <laughs> like, what is this? What is this, like, asinine requirement? <laughs> Not even like oh like have have a low fatigue meter that was like a requirement for a like doctor back in mineral town like one of his scenes having like low fatigue and then coming to visit and then you pass out and he's like oh no Ellie you got the stretcher <laughs> but no this is like I'll pass out 50 times like you have to really be sick for Ellie to care and <laughs> like come to visit you <laughs> Half the requirement for the witch princess. <laughs> so I guess if you're going for both, you can you can do Ellie and witch princess and uh, along the same vein. All right, chickadees, grow up to chickens, but I can still kill you. You can still kill them as chickadees, but I'll let them grow up a little bit. Gotcha. should be done with the building soon. I wonder what I should build next. I guess the an animal shed. Just get that all ready to go. I was thinking of maybe getting a house upgrade, but if you get the last house upgrade, um, the next item that you would get through TV shopping wouldn't be a cooking utensil. It would actually like prompt you to buy the big bed. I guess you could do that and just yeah, have it ready early. Hey, the maker shed is finished. It's very nice. See ya. Thank you. All right, now I gotta order something else from you. Always been working. Set uh, TV. That time again for the show that introduces items used by Harvest Sprites. Nope. All right, I'll have to check again tomorrow. Uh, I guess we'll do a little bit of hot spring dipping. All right, I don't think I've ever showed this area. Big old thing here. <laughs> Keep out under construction, Barney Circus. Takes a very long time for Barney Circus to set up. Approximately, like... <laughs> is that- it, it pops out after you get married and, like, have a kid. So it's a really long time. I've never actually... actually had that in, like, one of my casual playthroughs because I couldn't, like, decide on who to marry when I was playing casually. <laughs> Ironically. Plus, I, I really wanted, like, to have a girl child in this game, and it's really hard to get a girl child in this game. It requires, like, you save scum from the point of your wedding day. Which I guess it's possible, because, like, all you have to do is just sleep, but... I would like to have a girl child in this game, but I don't think I'll try to save scum it. I think I'll just, I'll just accept whatever I get. <laughs> But yeah, having a girl is, is like exclusive to the girl version. But of course you can also get a boy child and Yeah, you can get like a boy child in any version. So used to having boys. Because <laughs> The Wonderful Life was just all boys. Except for the special edition. And even then the, the girl was kind of lackluster because they only designed one type of model. It would have been nice if they like gave her a unique hair and eye color depending on who your spouse was. But in this game they did. They actually gave her gave her unique hair and eyes corresponding to Nami, Flora, Celia, uh, Muffy, and Lumina. Even though you marry bachelors in this game. It doesn't quite make sense but they didn't make special 
special appearances for them, but... So now, 11. I will now order a building from Gotch. Here is a legendary Gotch construction. You want it? We got it. I will build a bullet an animal shed. A material you'll use. Material stone! I want you to provide them. I'm actually hemorrhaging through a lot of money. <laughs> the animal sheds cost a lot. See you later. Alright, we can also call Saibaras. He has a lot of things for sale. I'm gonna Saibara the blacksmith. Strong fine tools guaranteed. Um, but, but, but I think the most important one would be the seed maker. Um, mayonnaise, cheese, yogurt, yarn. I mean, yarn is useful for cutscenes, so we will need that. But yeah, these mainly just important to finish your shipping log. <laughs> The price increase on the items aren't that great. Um, the canned food maker... Um, it kind of acts like, as like an upgraded shipping bin. You throw stuff in there and they get like a little increase in... in price. Let me see... I forgot what... what the amount was. If it was just like 10%. I can see... Makers, there we go. Yeah. Oh, it actually increases your profits by 50%. 100. So you throw something in, it'll be it'll be worth 150% of its of its value. Oh, it's, just, it, it's actually a lot, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, the harvest rights can't utilize this. So, like, if you're into them harvesting your crops for you, they're not gonna stick it in the canned food maker. They're just gonna ship it normally. Uh, we'll do the seed maker. One, do that. Twenty thousand. Yeah. And some adamantite. I only have two pieces of adamantite, so... Okay, I'll get started. I'll bring it to you when I'm done. Start with the seed maker, because I think that's the most important. Can't level up any crops without it. Okie doke! You can also check out the inside of Maker Shed. <laughs> has all these spaces here. It kind of kind of has the look of... How, uh, the butter and cheese maker shed did in A Wonderful Life. I don't know, it's just like these boxes here kind of remind me of that building. <laughs> Plus it's made out of stone. Although if we made it out of different material, the, the textures on the wall would be a different color. So if we made it out of gold number, the, the walls would be gold. Alright, time to pass out. <laughs> another fence, but, like, I can obviously just eyeball it. I'll just do it right now. Like, my, my animal barns to be cordoned off. And I would always put, like, a unique animal in each barn, so, like, either a different colored cow or, like, a sheep would be, like, in one particular space. Everyone would have their little area to wander around in. Aesthetics of it. Hey, hang in there, I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. It's a rainy day. We should get a few visitors, actually. And that's right, it's that time again. It's surprising, exciting, it's get along living. It's time for TV shopping. Alright, today we introduce you the mixer. Use this to cut things into small, easy-to-eat bites. Use it for juice, too. It's like a Cuisinart. This mixer is for a mere 1,200 gold. Call now if you want this. TV shopping pays the shipping cost for you. All right, order that, unless we forget. We're having a sheep festival on the beach tomorrow. We'd like you to take part to Milan. It's too bad you don't have any sheep, though. <laughs> because we're like, what happened to the sheep I, I sold you? Milan, where, where are they, hmm? Come to the beach anyway, you can still cheer on the other guys. Sheep. I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll go do it. I actually feel like changing my outfit too. Let's change to, change to blue. Blue with black pants. 
And you want an animal shed, right? I'm here to build it. Where do you want it made? I shall have it made. Yes, no. Up here. We'll have to clear out the space first. Is that okay? Yes, please. Okay, I'll get started. It'll probably take around three days for me to finish it. You can rely on me. Any other visitors? Nope. Alright, so tomorrow we'll go to that festival. Okay, I didn't forget to put any eggs. <laughs> you guys are mad at me? No, only one is one is mad at me. Alright, let's bathe a bit while we wait for TV shopping to open. It's at 7.40. It's hard to keep track because like you have to stay in there for an hour, but like you also want to make sure you don't accidentally undercut it, so you, like, you just add 10 minutes, whatever you're doing. Yeah, it looks like today is just gonna be... I mean, I guess we'll get to enjoy the sheep festival. I'm trying to think of like when it would be a good time to start showing off uh, art events for like the boy version of the game when it's slow. It doesn't feel too slow, actually, this episode. I kind of want to have them like maybe coincide with like when I get the heart events for the boys. But then, uh, yeah, that, that actually might be a little bit too hopping. Because <laughs> once we like start getting heart events for the boys, we're probably gonna get a lot of cutscenes for a lot of other people. I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll show them during like bath time. <laughs> when we're trying to get the purple sprites, because that, that'll be really slow. That's just us gonna be dipping in here forever and ever. Do, do, do. Let's see. Cool. I just want to look at the requirements for the purple sprites. Purple, purple. Not indigo, purple. I should have the indigo team working. Him. Yeah, 200 times and then 200 and 500 times for the goddess one. That one's gonna be rough. 500 times? Oof. Shopping! Thanks for calling! The mixer is 1,200 gold. Yes, please. Thank you. It should arrive in two to three days. Uh, how's my farm degree doing? Wait. I don't think I can order any new outfits from May. Oh, I do! Welcome to Mace Tailoring! We sell the finest clothes and the loveliest wallpaper. Did I just talk? No window shopping! Okay, well, I could buy Shy Heart. I'll, I'll shop, I'll buy Shy Heart. That's actually some colors I would wear. Black and the green pants. I do have a pair of, like, kind of olive green pants. I only wear it with, like, a drink. During like holidays and stuff, because I'm afraid if I wash it too much, uh, it'll just kind of gray out. I can't even have any white clothes, just because... Or like white socks, because most of my clothes are dark, and like anything white just eventually turns gray, and I don't have like... I don't really have enough clothes to warrant doing a load of white. <laughs> Do the college wash, as they call it. Yeah, I like this outfit. I'm gonna rock this outfit for a while. Bye, cruel world. Hey, hang in there, I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. <laughs> oh my. Alright, 21st. It's the Sheep Festival. You are going to yell at me saying that it's so. Grant me not Valley News. Forget not Valley Annual Sheep Festival is being held today. If you're heading out there, go to the beach between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay, we will do. It means more bath time. Woohoo. You're actually all happy again. <laughs> Surprisingly, all the all the chickies are happy again. Okay, how long do I stay in here? I'll just stay until it's uh, 7:40. Paid all my bills for the month. I'm gonna try to save up. 
whatever I make for the rest of the month. See what I'm gonna do with that money. <laughs> Try not to buy too many frivolous items. I've been pretty good about it. I think my most frivolous expense is like mostly games. It's because like I rarely buy clothes, I don't buy makeup, I don't buy alcohol. <laughs> I try to, like, get all my food on sale. I also, like, try to buy, like, bulk rice and bulk flour. I'm not, like, very good at baking, but, like, I can make pancakes, at least. Like, Kiki. Kiki delivery service just making pancakes. Yeah, if I could save up more money this year. That will be good. Yeah, it's kind of hard being like the only, <laughs> the only income, and I don't make that much money as is, so like barely enough to skate by. I feel really bad if I had a kid, cause like I, I feel like I wouldn't be able to give him a good life. Right, it's ten twenty. That's the way things are. Alright. Do the Sheep Festival! Alright. I know Rick was kind of matching me and Rick. Look at the comp competitors. Let's do our best to enter next year. I tried counting sheep once when I couldn't sleep, but I just ended up counting them until morning. Probably weren't sleepy. Oh, blanket is warm. It feels great in winter. Hmm? Put some pants on. Mind your own business. <laughs> I know you don't wear pants. You're wearing boxers. Hi, Rock. Sheep love to just stay out in space. That's their way of making us think they're harmless. Are you sure? I, sheep are like the most nervous farm animals I've ever worked with. Now, like goats, they're a bit dramatic, but they're... They get used to things. Like cows are just kind of... Moo. <laughs> They just kind of <laughs> look at you. They're, they kind of know they're all bulk too. It's kind of scary that they know like they can push you around. Sheep, like, like, hey sheep, I'm gonna like put this harness on you so I can hoof trim you. Nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna alligator death roll. Like, calm down, come on, dude. <laughs> like, I see you every day. Let's let's just work with me here. Do sheep like to be sheared? I wonder. And I might, they might feel relieved though, like, wolves or sheep, sheep are bred to like, have like, too much wool. Like, more than is necessary to survive. Don't sheep ever get hot? I mean, they have all that wool on them. I wonder if they ever have heat strokes. Yeah. <laughs> See like some, some like videos or articles of like a sheep who like got lost. <laughs> lost in like the wilderness and like comes back and was just like overburdened with like, a layer of matted wool. I could like barely see her walk. Deep has such cute eyes. I really like them. Here's Patrick. I want to make fireworks that look like wool. Not me, a revolutionary. That, <laughs> uh, like foam or like clouds. Maybe I'll make some fireworks that explode into sh a shape of a sheep. Well, that's kind of neat when they they can explode into like particular shapes, not just round. Wool is very valuable in winter. Is there anyone else? There's this gal in here. Where's Nina? Would it be relevant for Nina to be here? It's almost time to decide the winning shape. Are you ready to start the contest? Yeah, let's start. Alright, let's begin. And now for the results. The rankings are... First place, Aiden. Congratulations. Congratulations, Aiden the Sheep. Second place, Emil. And third place, Fallow. Fourth place, Tutu. That's a cute name. That's all, folks. Yay! Yay! This year was fun, too. I wonder what kind of sheep will enter next year. Learn anything? People might have tips on animal care. Did I make a song about sheep? I might fall asleep, though. Man, sheep are noisy when you get this many together. I can still hear them. Bah, bah. Bah. Sing all 
these sheep around. I'll sleep well tonight. Just looking at them calms my heart. This is nice. You are so fluffy and cute. I might come again next year. No, I'm beat. Too many sheep to look at. I lose track of time when I look at sheep. That was a mighty good time. Sheep are nice to look at from time to time. You picked up the wool on this beach. You can almost make a blanket. <laughs> if they... Did they just leave a lot of wool behind? I feel like it's... Sheep don't really shed a lot. I feel like it just kind of gets interwoven and matted in their, in their coat. Although they, they do leave some behind. That was fun. Alright, back to work. Back to passing out. What's the next festival, <laughs> actually? Uh, pumpkin festival. Day for giving candy to kids, so... I think you'll get some annoying visitors, but just make sure you have chocolate, which we do. And you can hand out some chocolate to the kids for some friendship. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying, because like if you don't have anything, they like they won't let you leave the house. So you have to give them like garbage or just go to bed. Goodbye, cruel world. Alright. Hey, hang in there, I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted, time to call it a day. I wonder if we'll actually get to the pumpkin festival. Oh, is that Sam? A chickie has been born. A new baby. A 40, I'll call you number 40. <laughs> Sound. Pretty sure I'm beyond that count, but... Six more. Hey, Milan, the mixer that you ordered has arrived. Now we can make now we can make our own juice. We who's this we? This will come in handy. You got it, right? Alright. <laughs> make some more cookies. At least we get some farm degree points for having animal birds on our farm. Surprisingly, we don't get negative for killing animals. I don't think it goes down. I think it only goes up. I like, oh, your farm degree went down? Give me those clothes back. <laughs> Take the clothes off my back. But yeah, these clothes do require farm degree points for them to unlock at mace tailoring. And strong. And I think Gots is still working on that horn. I can make one more, I think. Yeah, I have space for one more barn. Assuming I get rid of another animal shed. Throw you down. Throw down. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. How are we doing on time? A few more minutes. Oh, just, I don't know why I'm scared of just like hitting the horse. Not like the horse likes me or anything. It's not like I could get sick. There, we're doing it. I can't wait to finish this pass out 100 times requirement though. It'll feel weird because then we'll actually get to play the game like normally. 
Not whatever the psychotic thing we're, that we're doing is. Gots is done, but unfortunately it's Saturday, so I can't have a build another thing. I guess I can build a house upgrade. A great job as always. See ya! I guess we could do a house upgrade next. And then after that I could build some basements. And I would actually be able to utilize that scene maker, which by the way, where the heck is my scene maker? <laughs> Did I, I ordered it, right? <laughs> I said yes. Feels like it's been a bit. He did take my adamantite, right? Yeah, he took my adamantite. Hm. Oh, okay, you're here. Yo, I brought the seed maker that you asked for. I put it inside of the mag shed, see ya. Alright, cool, thanks. Nickaroonie, so I'll be here. Seed maker, put seed based crops in this machine to make new seeds. How you how you upgrade your seeds. So like you plant something like eight or nine times, make, turn it from like level one to level two, and then you put the level two crops in there. And then you do the same thing, you plant like a bunch of bags of level two seeds on the ground, turn them to level three, and then put them in the seed maker, or so on, so forth, up to level 100. That's it. More chickies! New baby has been born. make three more birds and then we'll definitely have gone over or over the requirement because we did kill four sheep. And I'm pretty sure I probably have more chick- I probably killed more chickens, I just miscounted. Knowing me. happy with me. None of you guys are very happy. This will be the last batch that I hatch. Go! And I guess we will wait around for gots. I don't think it's a festival for them. We'll wait around for gots and then we'll Order another building. Or house upgrade, rather. Guess we'll hang out here until 8. <laughs> Man, looking around my room, it's kind of funny how much of a, of a weeb I've become. <laughs> it's like. It's weird that people criticize, like, some people for having, like, anime figures. Like, on their shelf. Especially if they're like, oh, in like a bunny or like a cat outfit or like some weird pose, but like, man, I've turned into a, we a weeb. <laughs> like, I have like these amiibo on my shelf. I have like a few nendroids. I'm like so tempted to get more nendroids, but I'm just like, I don't really like anything that much to warrant getting a nendroid of it. I got like... I got like two links and a Zelda as like presents. And I like them, because I like Zelda. There were- like, there's not really any, like... Oh, wait, I also got a Madarasu from Okami. I do like... <laughs> like, they're just all video game characters, but I feel like there's not- There's not, like, any anime where I'm just like, Wow, I really wish that I could have an android of that anime character. <laughs> I have so many- I have so many products on, like, Good Smile. looking at like their other products too like the pop-up parades like kind of scale to scale figures not like the chibi looking not like the chibi looking androids they have them for all sorts of things like it's kind of funny that even youtubers are getting like pop-up parades of their own characters and, like you're not even like an anime or like a show but like you're popular enough to get 
like a product of yourself, which is kind of cool. How many VTubers out there? I know my friends are into watching like a few VTubers. They have like a bunch of cutesy voices and like all anime girly. As I asked, kind of weird. <laughs> it's it's like idol culture as well. Kind of weird to see like someone get get into kind of that idol culture through like VTubing. It's nice. VTubing's great because like anyone can do it. It opens up so many options. Just have to have the personality. Uh, Alright, GOTS. Here's a legendary GOTS construction. You want it? We GOTS it. Alright, what can I do for you? I'll do the house upgrade. I know it's kind of early, but... I provide the materials? I want you to provide them. That's 150,000 gold. It just uses stone, so... See you tomorrow, then. I probably could, actually. <laughs> Use my own stone for something. I actually don't have a lot. Eh. I actually don't have that much stone. I will probably have a lot of stone stone in the winter. I'll have uh, the harvest sprites. I'll have the harvest sprites uh, collect stone and branches for me. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Alright, I should have another cooking utensil purchasable tomorrow. Here to make an extension to your house like you requested. You want it bigger? No problem. It'll probably take around three days for me to finish it. You can rely on me. And yeah, he knocks out the tree and will go up to the doghouse this time. Or I won't go to the doghouse. Okay, pass out time. for a few minutes longer. <laughs> Hang in there, I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Some people have actually suggested that like, I, I do a, I get like a VTuber model. Oh, all right, it's that time again. It's surprising, it's exciting, it's catalog living. It's time for TV shopping. Today's item is the frying pan. Stay so long to raw food. With this, you can saute, fry, and grill. The frying pan can be yours for only 1,200 gold. Call them if now if you want this. <laughs> the TV shopping phase is shifting costs for you. Frying pan? More like a drying pan. Yeah, some people suggested I try to try VTubing. I don't know how I would make my model, though. <laughs> I guess I do kind of have, like, an avatar on my channel page, but... I don't know if I want to, like, design something more fantasy-themed or what. Because you can make anything you want. <laughs> you, can, you can turn yourself into whatever you want. And then plus, I'd probably have to commission someone to, like, make that model and rig. And rig it up. That'd be another expense, probably. Expense I'm quite not willing to make it. I mean, I just bought... Bought my 3DS capture card. Bought my bought a new computer. Like I'm done spending spending stuff. For like the sake of this channel at this point. Gotta give it a rest. I think I'm good. I'm like satisfied for now. I can improve on things later. There's always stuff I can improve on, but yeah. Like this as a hobby, I kinda have to think like how much money I, money I wanna sink into this. Cause I'm not Make like a little bit money back, but like it's not much. It's it's like some chump change. I'm not I'm not that popular. To like actually have this as a steady income source. I'm just like doing this for funsies though. Everyone has their hobbies. And this one is mine. Recording Harvest Moon games. <laughs> to the best of completion as I can, because I'm a crazy person. Really, I could play so many games and yet I'm like doing this. Most grindy game ever. Oh, right. 
That's by Team Shopping. Thanks for calling. The frying pan is 1,200 gold. Is that okay? Yes, please. Thank you. It's arrived in two or three days. Alright, we have been going for an hour. wonder if I should stop or if I should at least get to winter. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. What's that sound? Alright. Last chicken. Ooh. I could have gotten got to demolish this spot. That's the way it goes. Five. Take good care of it. What's that sound? <clears throat> you guys can, like, exist a little bit longer. Baby has been born. The count is like severely off, but it's pretty sure this is like the 50th chicken. And this is all the chickens I can have out. Keep. I'll put you outside so you can eat and grow a little bit. Maybe we'll go until the pumpkin festival. Which is passing out candy to kids. I think three kids, oh, technically. Two kids and one really big kid will come by your house. <laughs> so instead of a main stew. Make sure there's no other visitors. Instead of a main stew. It'll be Kate and Hugh. And of course, Popery will come by as well, like she did in Mineral Town. <laughs> Feels like a kid, I guess. Hey, hang in there, I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Uh, oh. Actually, I actually have a sick animal. Hold on, this isn't good. There's a sick animal out there, and a sick animal is 45. Actually, do something quick. Already? I guess I. Uh, actually, I can't. <laughs> Sorry, I can't actually heal anybody. <laughs> it's actually impossible for me to heal anybody. I need at least three pieces of chocolate, so... Oops, not that. That's bad soup. Hey, Milan, the frying pan that you ordered has arrived. Without a frying pan, we wouldn't be able to fry any food. This will come in handy. You got it, right? Alright, then Gots is here. Hey, the extension is finished. It's a lot bigger, isn't it? I did a fine job, as always. See ya. Oh, I can actually probably order. <laughs> it's funny, like, you're in, like, you're inside your house. Your house looks as, as it's, like, normally. And then you walk in now, and it's like, oh. It is, is bigger. <laughs> it's bigger now. How did that happen? So yeah, you have, a, like, a, an extended space here for the big bed. And then you have a lot of space here, actually. You can build... I think, like, a bathroom and a restroom. <laughs> it's kind of weird that there's, like, two. But I think one contains the bath and one contains the actual bin, bin closet. And yeah, and then you have space here. You can build a basement staircase down on this side, which I might kind of want to do, but first we should probably demolish the building. And they're all unhappy. I don't want to actually, actually have some chicken, so. Surprised. Surprised that none of them are. are turned into chickens yet. <laughs> oh well. They, it should be fine to kill them as chicks, because. as we found out in the boy version. Um. Yeah, I was like. Like chicks are chicks are fine. Like I I think I slew like 40, 40, 40 chickens and like thirteen chicks and it counted them for the fifty count. But it'll be fine to have them as baby birds, sadly. Sadly it will it will work. Alright, I 
forgot when I entered the bath. I haven't been keeping good track. It'll be really hard if I do try to, like, read. If I do, to like, try to do story time while in the bath, like... The amount of multitasking you'll have to do, like, reading a story while, like, keeping track of the time so I, like, exit in and out of the bath. I don't know, they say women can multitask fairly well, but... I don't know, I get distracted fairly easily. Maybe a thing where you just have to, like, pause the game to, like, finish a paragraph. Can't pause, I've never really done it, but... I'm kinda scared to do it. Like, just pressing start will pause the game. I guess because this came out during, like, early DS era? I'm not sure if the original DS put the games into sleep mode. But obviously now it does. Obviously now you can put the sleep mode. So, like, pressing start would allow, allow you to pause your game and then just, like, fold your DS and just, like, put it away for, like, a little bit. Although you'd still be losing a lot of power, because, like, the screen would be running... running, uh, full power. But... It gave you that option. Good. I'll demolish the rest of these birds and be done with it. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that anymore. Alright, gots. Here's a literary gots construct. You want it? We gots it. What can I do for you today? So, yeah, we can build a bathroom, a restroom, a basement. You actually have three levels of basements, so you get more more expensive each time you build another level, and you, have, you can have up to three. So potentially you can have a basement, so it acts like a greenhouse. You can have one for each season that you can grow crops in, so obviously you're not gonna need the winter. There's you're not gonna need the winter sun, because uh, there's no crops that grow in winter. <laughs> right, let's demolish, I'll start tomorrow, see you then. Want me to tear down that bird shed or animal barn? Let the animals out today. They're in there when they're when the building's demolished, they'll die. Then they die. Well, they all eat and they might actually grow up tomorrow, as long as they eat. They have a chance to grow. Sacrifice only the best. Only the best for my witchy waifu. Minus quality chickens. Is that like a sick chicken? I'm a monster. <laughs> I am an absolute monster. Until the the pumpkin festival, because I, I do want to get to winter, or at least before winter. And then I have to. There is an event that happens on the second, but it's easily missed um, if you get a snowstorm. And then if that happens, you have to wait until next year, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, time to pass out. Where should I buy? Warm degree up, gone up, oh, nope. A while. I'm kind of tempted to buy some new wallpaper, but maybe I'll do that next time. I've been looking at the paw print one for a while. But once I do get. <laughs> I think I, I could buy bubblegum next. It'll be. I have to get past the apprentice uh, ranks before I can get a new wallpaper, I think. It's like the farm chief. Along that vein. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Okie doke. You're gonna yell at me that a chicken is sick? Hold on, this isn't good. There's a sick animal at the ranch. Sick animal is 45. Actually, do something quick. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna euthanize it. 
<laughs> this is a very cruel way of saying it, but they're all gonna get euthanized. Uh, let's see. We're gonna have a visitor, so let me just separate this chocolate. Knock, knock! Alright. During 6 to 8 a.m., we got a visitor. Today is the pumpkin festival, right? It came for some candy. Alright, just give him some chocolate and they'll go away. Thank you, you're great. Yeah, Kate will visit from 6 to 8 a.m. You'll have another visitor from 8 to 9, and then another one from 10 to 11. Yeah, you wanted something demolished, right? I'm here to start the job. Which building do you want me to demolish? Alright, I want this one to go bye bye. Okay, I'll get started. Just take me a day to tear it down. You don't go. Uh, why are you over there? <laughs> You're just like warped. I guess I'll take a bath in the meantime while I wait for kiddos to arrive. another visitor at, at 8 a.m. Uh, I wonder, do we have this, like, festival where everyone's door is locked? Yeah, it is a festival where everyone's door is locked. Maybe I'll play until the first that building demolished first winter. I do want to end things off at the witch hut so I can, uh, Get that, get that, uh, requirement of a thousand gifts. Knock, knock, it's you! Hey, little guy. Today's the pumpkin festival, you gotta give candy to kids today. So where's my candy? Okay. If you like a vegetable or a fish, just put a fish in your hand. Thanks, lady! And you think that's all the kids in town, but... Potpourri will come later. <laughs> Gotta weird that she comes all the way out here for candy. Let's take another dip. <laughs> yeah, like I, you can give them fancier stuff too, like like cookies or cake. But yeah, chocolate is obviously the cheaper option. That's good. Hello, knock knock. Give me some candy. It's not fair that it's just for kids. <laughs> I'm just like, uh. <laughs> Thank you, Milan. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's all the kids that that come by. I think this is actually a family event. Kind of functions like a birthday. You have a little dinner. I didn't actually didn't know about that. Okie doke. Um. All right. So we should probably save. Make sure that I get the correct weather for tomorrow. Wait. Yes, out. Yeah, we're not married, so we can't have a party. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Like, <laughs> can't have any birthday parties unless you're like married. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. But now, a good time.
All right, all these chickies passed. Tax away from an accident. Shed collapsed and crushed the poor thing. Next time you should make the shed stronger. You don't want something like this to happen again, do you? No. Okay, how's the weather for tomorrow? Not all. I don't use by the harvest price, not that one. I want to see the weather. Good morning, now for tomorrow's weather. Tomorrow's weather will be snow. Happy when it snows, it's a bit romantic. Alright, that's fine. It doesn't need to be sunny. A sunny or snowy is fine. Blizzard? No. Blizzard's a no-go. Hey, I finished destroying it for you. See you later. Alright, bye-bye bird shed. Alright, get another animal shed. Going, although today is Saturday, so we can't contact bots today. Hey, look, it's winter! Everything's covered in a- it's a winter wonderland. Oh, joys. And it's kind of sad that, like, there's no more greenery anymore, but at least there's no weeds. All the weeds are gone. So yeah, lots of rocks and branches will spawn around the valley. Use that to help get you the orange sprite team <laughs> unlocked. Okay, doke, so we'll end things off here. Um, off screen, I will spam the witch princess, uh, my dog, until I reach the 1,000 total count. Alrighty. Well, if you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.